Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to be making our own alkaline miso paste. Substitute for regular miso paste because it has the rice in it that we cannot use because it's not on the alkaline list. So we're going to make a substitution for that because miso paste is used in a lot of uh, Asian dishes and a lot of uh, regular vegan dishes. I noticed they use a lot of uh, miso paste. So I need my own miso paste to substitute in recipes that I am trying. So we are going to get started here. I got two cups of cooked chickpeas. Try to drain them as much as possible. I literally just put them in a sieve and set them over a bowl after I had cooked them. Cooked them in just water and salt. Nothing else. Like I cook a huge crock pot of just chickpeas of water and salt and put them in the refrigerator and the freezer so I don't have other seasonings in them in case I want to use them for other things like this. So plain old chickpeas been cooked, drained very well. Two cups. And we are using our... Uh, Food processor today, the small one, brought out Oscar today instead of the big blender. I got one tablespoon of sea salt here. If you are worried about the salt content, you can start with one teaspoon and just add as much as you like, but usually miso paste is salty, so we're going to go with a full tablespoon here. I got one tablespoon of tamarind paste or concentrate, whichever. I buy both, but they both look exactly the same, so I don't know the difference. Uh, one tablespoon. So now, I do have one tablespoon of key lime juice here, but we're going to wait to put that in because if I don't need it, because you don't want your miso paste to be too uh, runny. So we're going to start off by just glistening this first. Put it on right. Stop it to push them down there. Mix that all up. So all my chickpeas get mashed up here. And there we have it. We have our miso paste. Just put this in an airtight container. Try not to waste it on the table. You are definitely going to have to pulse this and mix it. Stop it and mix it a couple of times. Your chickpeas on top sometimes tend not to go down. Mm. 
All right, so when you're putting it in your container, you want to make sure you press it down, get all the air out. This will help it last longer. Make sure you don't got a lot of air stuck down off in there, air bubbles. All right, and there we go. Miso paste. Check that out. Yeah, little spoon of this. Definitely salty. Has that uh, sour taste that miso paste has. This will work. Now, the only thing is, you want an airtight container. You want to put something over it so it doesn't uh, sweat and condense. This is something, when I made it the first time, I put it in an airtight container, but I noticed that after a while it still ended up uh, molding. Like getting wet on top, and I didn't like that because it was uh, condensed. I find that piece of parchment paper, if you just cover it, make sure you put it down on it. So there's no air in between the parchment paper and your miso paste. And then you can just cut the little edges off, or you could have just cut it at the right size in the first place. But you can also use saran wrap. <laughs> I don't because me and old girl don't get along. She likes to fight me every time, every freaking time. So if I can avoid having to deal with her, because she's a bully, man. She likes to beat me up. Then I just use parchment paper. But like I say, a little parchment paper on top. It's very easy to come off. It doesn't even stick. But that's it, y'all. Miso paste. Alkaline miso paste. So now, give me a thumbs up because now you have alkaline miso paste. Subscribe so you can see all the things that I make substitutions for for other recipes. Share this so other people can know just how easy it is to transfer over to the alkaline uh, diet. And hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post the next recipe. So that is it y'all. Until the next time, stay happy.